Um, in this section, what we're looking at is um, uh, the city that I build stage three paper. All right, so here's a question, and it reads, it says, um, what are the prime numbers up to 20? All right, first we wanna understand what prime numbers are. Uh, so prime numbers would have two factors, right? So I want to note that prime numbers, they do have two factors, um, one and itself, right? So those are special numbers. They carry two factors, one and itself. So we wanna make sure that the numbers that we're picking, um, they are prime. And definitely uh, this would have made this out and that. So that's not a set of prime. Four, spoil that, along with other numbers, not a set of prime, not a set of prime. These numbers down here, though, all of these numbers, they only have two factors, one and themselves. So the first one is D. So it's about understanding what a, what a prime number is, right? So prime number would only have two factors, one and itself. Using that, you would have picked D. Let's look at um, question two. Question two says a man pays $225 each month into an account to pay his bills, all right? No, and this is important. It's each month. So the question says, how much does he pay in the account in three years? So what we want to do, we want to take that three years, right? You want to turn that three years to month. So if you want to you wanna find out how many months would it be in three years, um, it's 12 months in one year. Multiply that by three. You're looking at 36 months. And so if you have 36 months dealing with paying $225, then basically you want to multiply 225 times 36. With this, you're going to have to have your skills. So you take your time and you work your numbers out. All right. So you work your numbers out. Seven, six, then you add everything up. So you're looking at, uh, yeah, this is 8,100. So I'm seeing that number here, right? So um, your multiplication skills is needed, but understanding how many months in a year and then turn that into three years would have been the idea that you need in order to correctly execute a question like this. Let us look on um, number three. Number three says, uh, what is two raised to the third? A lot of times people make make mistake by saying this means two times three. Well, no, it does not mean that. Okay. Now we want to understand what the power really means. So when you see a power, when you see a power here, a power refers to the number of times that a number will multiply by itself. So for example, this would have been two times two times two. So two to the third power means that number two would have multiplied by itself three times and that will give us eight. So the correct response for this is that the answer is eight. Now let's look at number three. For number three, you're going to have to actually know, you want to know certain stuff like square numbers, right? So this one is something that you have to know offhand uh, what's the square root of 36? And the answer would have been six. And um, when you're finding the square root, you're thinking of a number that could multiply by itself to give you the number underneath the square root. So even if you don't know, what you want to do is to understand what it is about. One number could multiply by itself to give us 36, and that's definitely six. Let's look at the, the fifth one, number five, and it says, what is a 39,000 written in standard form? What's the framework for standard form? Standard form is written in the form A times 10 raised to the n power, where A is a number. Um, A will be less than 10, but greater than or equal to 1, right? So, uh, so with that, it will help you to eliminate certain stuff because it can't be this, it can't be that. And so, so it's either this or that that we'll be picking. And then you, you would have to say n, n is an integer negative number 
zero or positive number. So, so the power will not be a fraction or anything. So let us look. So in other words, then you want to take 39,000. You want to understand that if you don't see the decimal point, it is at the back. And then you want to ask yourself, how many times did it hop to the left, to a right, um, between the first or after the first number that is not a zero? So you're checking one, two, three, four. So it must be written in the form 3.9 times 10 and then raised to the fourth power, which is a positive four, right? Because negative power would be numbers less than one and you could see that this number it was greater than one so it's a positive power of four and this would have been the correct response in standard form you will always have numbers like one point something two point something three point something up to nine point something but the decimal point must come after the first number our first digit that is not a zero right all right, so let's look at number six. Number six it says here, um, what is 9.2 times 10 to the third as an integer? In other words, you want to remove this from standard form. So it's 9.2 times 10 to the third. And for some, what 10 to the third means, 10 to the third actually means 10 times 10 times 10. And this will give you a thousand which means 9.2 must multiply by 1,000. And what does that mean for 9.2? Is that the decimal point will be traveling three places to the right, which is one, two, three. It's going to stop there. So the decimal point is going to come all the way here. So you could fill between those with zeros, right? So it's 9200 zero, zero. would have been that correct response. So this is the answer for that one right there. Right. Thank you for watching.